Hello everyone, welcome back to Evie's Queen. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're currently trying to reach 1000 subscribers. Help us out in this journey. While CATL is the first Chinese company to unveil sodium ion batteries, BYD will likely be the first to use such batteries in mass production vehicle. BYD plans to mass produce sodium ion batteries in the second part of 2023, and they will feature in the Queen EV, Dolphin and new model Seagull local media outlet Late Post reported today. BYD's power battery division FinDreams is responsible for the development and mass production of the sodium ion batteries, which are currently in the sample validation stage according to the report. The Queen EV and Dolphin are both pure electric vehicle models priced at RMB $100,000, $13,000 to RMB $150,000. And BYD Seagull to be launched next year is a small AO class sedan priced at RMB 80,000 to RMB 100,000, the report said. The launch of the Seagull means BYD will increase its efforts in the sub RMB 100,000 electric vehicle market, where the competition will become more intense. From January to October, 1.46 million models priced below RMB 100,000 were sold, accounting for 36.8% of total pure EV sales in China, a higher share than all other price ranges. The report noted, BYD is likely to be the first company in the world to put sodium ion batteries in car, and such batteries will be in some versions of Queen EV, Dolphin, and Seagull, the report said. Earlier this year, spy photos of a model suspected to be the BYD Seagull circulated several times on Chinese social media. In China, it was CATL that first released a sodium ion battery. On July 29, 2021, CATL unveiled its first generation sodium ion battery, claiming that the single unit energy density has reached 160 watt per kilogram and highest level in the world today. CATL has already started the industrialization of sodium ion batteries and plans to form a basic industrial chain by 2023, the company said at that time. However, so far there is no information about the car companies that will use CATL's sodium ion batteries our power battery technology route that has regenerated in recent years with many materials not no longer being lithium, which can reduce the dependency of power batteries on lithium resources. With the rapid development of the global electric vehicle industry, the price of lithium, the most critical raw material for batteries, has soared in the past two years. The current price of battery-grade lithium carbonate in China is near RMB 600,000 per ton, about 14 times the average price of RMB 41,000 per ton in June 2020. Those at the helm of car companies including Chang'an Automobile Chairman Zhu Huarong and William Lee, founder chairman of NIO, and called for regulatory efforts to bring down the cost of raw materials, including lithium. Sodium ion batteries cost less but also have a lower energy density, and in the view of analysts, Lee, they're unlikely to replace lithium ion batteries. Gusen Securities analyst Tang Zhuashi, team, said in a research report that last July, lithium-ion batteries have an energy density of up to more than 300 kilowatt per kilogram, while lead-acid batteries are 30 to 50 kilowatt per kilogram and sodium-ion batteries are between the two. Sodium-ion batteries are less likely to replace lithium-ion batteries, and both will meet the application needs to different market segments but are expected to replace lead acid batteries in the future, they said. Sodium ion batteries are suitable for areas with low energy density requirements but are cost sensitive and will be used mainly in energy storage and two-wheeled vehicles. The team said after a late post latest report was published, Kaylian cited BYD's response that the news was untrue but provided no further details. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching the video.